Project X Beats here showing you how to insert audio or the audio filter looking thingy inside of Obi Adobe After Effects. If you don't know what it looks like, I mean I guess you can go on YouTube and look it up. I would do it, but it says I have internet access, but it really doesn't work that well. It's pretty slow. And you'll also hear that my phone will vibrate several different times while I'm in the middle of this video. But really, if you really know want to know what it looks like, uh, I guess I could just pull up my video. If you haven't already seen the one that I made. This is the Got the Juice reproduced by me. Uh, obviously it's Soulja Boy, you can see right there. Let's skip it a little bit. And as you can see, you can see how for your bass you got this little line right here. This is 64 bands of the different of the audio spectrum now. You can have it wider or shorter. And it is a live audio. It, this is like legit. This is really. It's not just some weird music player. Like I can't really think of one right now, but I do know I downloaded one. And it wasn't actually reading the wasn't really reading the audio and seeing what's actually happening it was just an animation so when you say the bass when you see the bass feel like that that's really what happened okay next out of that stuff and you'll also see Google messages down here but you won't see who they were what who they are okay you also need a down you need to download Adobe After Effects CS6 this will take quite a while like a, a really long time if if you have Wi-Fi and you also have Ethernet I suggest that you use Ethernet unless your Wi-Fi is like unless you have like fiber optics or some crap like that or you just so happen to live in Kansas and have Google Fiber then you're fine either way either Ethernet or Wi-Fi but anyway you need to run Adobe After Effects now, if you're like me, you downloaded the crack version using whatever torrents client you, you have. And every time it starts up, it does say you have one more day to your free trial. And it's, just being, it's been saying that ever since I had it. <clears throat> ever since I cracked it, I should say, not had it. Because at first, when I first got it, it said 30 days. And ever since I cracked it, it said one. It's been saying that for the past couple of days now. So I'm not sure if that's what it does. When it cracks it, it makes you think that the one day just never ends or I don't know and this is a very large program my suggestion to you is to close out any running applications you have and actually while I'm inside of here while this is still starting up when you're done making your little beat or whatever you, you need to export it to somewhere you can fit, fit it you have at least one output module template blob missing mp3 let's exit out of this I'm assuming this is asking me to save something yeah just on and have all day. Come on and all right. Please check your output. Oh, I gotta go right back in the FL Studio. Sometimes, because I like to change where the audio comes out of on FL Studio, and you can change it just in your system and audio. I'm probably gonna end up skipping over this part anyway. All right, so grabber. All right, now I can just exit out of this. Once you get into here tip of the day 13 yeah this always pops up there's 287 different tips and as you can see here it keeps saying continue with trial it, it will pop up and say one day last trial launch don't lose out okay it's nice it's been saying this like I said I, I don't know how long um this is your new project so go to composition new composition and however long the song is what the beat is or whatever you're doing the audio file I should say you need to make it to that length or if you want to make it longer make it longer but that length will make it look much better I want to change it from comp 1 to PXB PXB stands for project X beats um, tutorial okay then this will be black. That's fine. Then you need to go to File, Import, File again, and find an image that you want. Now you do need to import it twice. 
Uh, normally I use this outer space theme. Uh, I guess I can use this. Or, yeah, I'm just going to use the outer space one. I always use it. You need to drag it down here. Now, sometimes you don't need to do it twice. For me, sometimes it works. When I have to, sometimes I have to do it twice. Sometimes I don't. So let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, vibrate again. It's still loading. Okay, and then in the little effects and presets over here, you need to type in audio. And then there's one at the top. This is audio spectrum. Drag it out. Now this typically is when it yeah turns black, and that's why you have to get a second picture with the same one twice or whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this. Let's let's wanna see what it's gonna look like. And drag this out, and then yeah, it pops up. Now, depending on the size of the picture, you may need to stretch it out like I have to. It's probably not good to stretch it out. It's just, it makes it look nasty and uh, pixelated, but oh well, things happen. I'm, I'm cool with it. Now, you need to go. You need to click on the outer space one because the outer space one is linked up to the audio that little audio spectrum thing but before we even get into that we also need to get the music file so computer no libraries music let's see cat the juice soldier cat the juice and then that pops up you can click on this again you can go ahead and exile this little project thank you you really don't even need it anymore and under audio layer, just select whatever the name of the file is. Mine is Got the Jews Remake. And now when you play it, you can play by hitting the space bar. You see that happening. Now, I've never successfully got audio to work, but as long as you see this happening, the spectrum moving, you have audio. That's all you really need to worry about. Now, even if the bass is kicking like it is now, I, I know right now that for a fact that it's kicking like hard, but it's not really making a big difference. It's not going up like it was on my video. So do, to uh, change this, my suggestion is to put this right here. It says maximum height to 1330. Right there. Nice, comfortable 1330. Then thickness, change this to 5.8. Okay, 5.6, that's fine. And for the inside color, literally means inside color. Make this, if you want to get a nice, good looking blue, kind of like the one that I had, it depends on what your variation of blue. If you want a dark blue, then a good looking dark blue, I say a good 220, no, two, yeah, 226, 226 right here. For me, I'm going to go ahead and choose 208. And that's the inside color. Now you can have the outside color, whatever you want. I'm just going to have it the same thing, 208 and 208, so it doesn't look too different. Because this is just basic. Okay, and once that's done, now you may be wondering, it's, it's firing out both sides, and some people don't want that. Now there's an option. You can have it firing out of side A, which is what I use, which is just firing up top. Or you can have it firing out of side B, which is down bottom. I mean, it looks kind of cool. It, it's okay, but I I prefer side A. So I'm gonna go with side A. It's the one that I prefer. Now, pretty much you're actually done. There's actually a way to get the, there's a timer in here. It times the entire thing. I don't know how to do this. Once I figure it out, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, but really, what you if you want to add text, which you probably will, so you can know what's actually playing. You click on a little text editor up here, and then just don't try to click right here. Like this little mouse thing is uh, not that's that's not where the cursor is going to be. The little black part is. So just kind of put it like right here, and it seems kind of far below it, but it's really not. And then type the name of it. Got juice or whatever you want to call it. You don't even have to call it what you actually with the what you wanted. I'm not even talking right. You don't have to call it with uh, whatever. You really, you can just put whatever you want. You can put uh, HTC is the best store. Everybody who listens to this song, you're retarded. I guess. I don't know. Whatever you want. It doesn't matter. 
Uh, then after you do that, this probably should put either produced or reproduced, which in my case this would be reproduced by whoever you are. I suggest catalyzing after every word produced by. I'm not sure if it froze or okay. I'm just gonna put PXB. That's good enough for now. If you want to use the font that I'm using, yeah, Roboto, which is the same thing as an ice cream sandwich or an Android, which is some other font. I just like the font a lot, and you have to go download it. But other than that, it's too much work. Just get a nice font that you like. I'm maybe Comic Sans or some crap like that. Now, eventually, I'll have an updated video to make this look much better. Cause right now, this is very amateur looking ish. But pretty much from here, you're done. There's nothing else to do. And now you have your title here. And you, ugh, more Texas, control Z, get rid of that. And you can just go ahead and play it. And that's what it looks like. Now we're not necessarily done. We still gotta render it. Rendering is just exporting it. And when you're exporting it, it is not the easiest task to do. It's not something that you just pick up like that. And actually, I, I had to go look up a video on how to do that. Because it's not just as simple as going to export and then this stuff right here. Because export flash. Oh, you can, or right here, here it goes right there. It adds a render cube, but that's not the way I figured out how to do it. This is, actually, I just found a simpler way to get to it. But just hitting, you know, Adobe Flash Player SW, SWF. It doesn't take everything with it, which is my problem. Now, there's several ways to get it. You can go to composition and then add to render cube. We're going to go to File, Export, and then Add to Render Queue, or just Control M. Okay, Control M doesn't work. Wait, maybe it has to be that. Oop, yes, yeah, so it doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to go the way this, Add to Render Queue. Then this pops up. Almost finished. Under Output Module, click on the little thing. This is looseless, I guess. I don't know what that really says. Never just seen that. And choose whatever you want. QuickTime is the best looking, but the largest file ever. If you want something that's going to be quick, done, and easy, I suggest either it's still going to look decent, H.264 or MPEG4. For this case, I'm just going to go to MPEG4. I'm not even going to really convert this. I'm just going to go through it. And make sure you select audio output, or you would not have an audio output. Now, you also may get this. Output file will be resashed 1920 to 10, well 1920 by 1080 to 720p to 480. That's exactly why it doesn't take a long time because it really the it like it, MPEG 4 for some reason gets downgraded a lot. I think it does the same thing for you know it doesn't do it for H H.264. So actually I recommend H.264 if you want to get a 1080p pretty good looking video. Then okay. Then here you just choose where you want it to go. I made a folder called After Effects Videos, and then I'll just save it. And then once you're done, you just hit the render button. And then I'm just gonna stop it there. I don't need it. And from here you're good. You can either save it, which I'm not. Rendering was error while writing, that's fine. Exit out, don't save. And that's it. Now you're done. Um like I said, I will be making an updated video on how to do this. And it'll look much better when I figure out how to get it to look much better. Which will probably be in the next month or so. So, look out for that video. Um, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. And comment, like, subscribe. I really need this. I'm just trying to get big in the beat world. Well, in the production world. I'm only 14 and I'm doing what I do now. So, yeah. Like I said, comment, like, subscribe.